how and with whom do you emulate Colbert practice? Well, I'm not telling you that. <laughs> uh, no, obviously you you uh, there there'll be a few guys that do that, Mike. You know you you'll uh, you, you'll have some guys that rotate in there. You know, obviously, uh, quick guys, uh, athletic guys, instinctive guys. Maybe guys that did that type of thing in high school. You know we've got some guys on our team that were you know uh, spread option quarterbacks in high school, things like that. So you know that's that's kind of how you handle it. It's hard. You know you you're never gonna. Emulated the way it's going to be on Saturday, but you try to give your 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 defense a decent look at it. You work with quarterbacks. You like the one quarterback. They're going to be rotating play to play to play to play. You said so. What are the challenges that a defense has to be able to pick that up very quickly within just a few seconds? And then how do you how do you prepare your guys for that? Right. That's a big challenge, Corey. That's something where you have to know right away who's in the game. Then you have, in your mind you have to know okay these are the plays that they run this guy in the game. Uh, these are the formations and tendencies out of formations that they run these plays, and these are the other formations that they run these other plays. So you've got to be a very sharp, focused outfit on defense, and you have to communicate very well. You have to um, talk to each other, make sure you're, you're lined up at the snap of the ball because they're going to play very, very fast, and they're going to try to run 90 to 100 plays in the game. So. Uh, you know, it's about communication, getting lined up, and then understanding who's in the game for them. Well, one of the buzzwords or phrases that we like to use is maximizing talent. Is how, how do you evaluate or chart whether or not a player is reaching their potential, or, or is that even something that's even in your vernacular at all? Yeah, there's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, you know, number one is in the weight room. You, we, we, we talk about that all the time. You know, what are, what are his numbers starting out? What do we project his numbers to be after watching this guy work out, lift, run, do explosion type drills, plyometrics, things like that? Where do we think this guy can be? That's one way to measure it. And then, you know, on the field, it's a little bit harder. It's a little bit harder to measure that on the field because, you know, in order to be a good football player, you have to be instinctive. You have to be able to communicate. You, you've got to understand what's going on around you. What we try to do is see the improvement of a guy. Okay, this week, he was really good at these plays, but these other plays he wasn't so good at. All right, the next week he really improved in those other plays, and he's still doing well at these plays. So maybe we can add some more to his plate. So we kind of try to look at that every single day, every night after practice when we watch the tape together as a staff, where we're talking about, hey, this guy needs to improve in this, but he's doing pretty well at these things. If we get him to improve in this, these three things, maybe at the end of the day he can be an excellent player for us. So it's a little bit harder. There's not the, the, the hard numbers that you have in the weight room where it's easier to judge a guy and how he can improve there, but, but we try to do that on the field too in, in, in some ways. Um, I know you have invitations and talking about recruiting again, but um, how difficult do you anticipate recruiting will be in the next couple of years with sanctions? And also, how nice is it that you have some guys are still in that class to help out in future classes? Say that last part again. Like, how nice is it that you were able to retain some of the bigger recruits in your current class? Uh, so, you know, that's an interesting question. And, and I, I will tell you that uh, when, when the sanctions happened, I know that everybody said, uh oh, here we go. You know, here goes Penn. what's going to happen with Penn State. Well, you know, we've had a certain amount of home games. Let me, let me give you a couple of examples. At every home game, we've had between 40 and 50 prospects here. Okay, so, so you know, what are we talking about here? To me, we've been on national TV in every single game. And people enjoy watching these guys play because they love to play football and they're great kids. So, okay, so now we're on national TV. We got a heck of a football coaching staff. Uh, you know, the biggest, you know, we got one of the biggest stadiums in the country. People are talking about, you know, we only had 95,000 at a game the other day. Uh, name me a school in the country that had 95,000 at their game the other day. I don't know, maybe there's a handful. I, I'm not sure, you know, Michigan, if they played at home. I guess I, you know, whatever. I'm just saying, this place is a very special place. This is a place where you can play great football with great kids as teammates. You can get a fantastic degree. You can play in front of 100,000 people. You can play on national TV. You can play where you're going to be at practice. Where you're, We've had every NFL team has been in here to scout our players already this year. So you're going to have exposure to that. You're going to play for a, a, a coaching staff that has NFL experience, national championship experience. So, 
you know, who's to say? Okay, the numbers, the numbers aren't equal to the other teams out there. We understand that. As a staff, we've got to do a great job of understanding that. But at the end of the day, you know, I've been very, very impressed with the fact that people really, really enjoy uh, being recruited by us, coming to the games here. I'm talking about prospects, coming to the games here, watching us play. Uh, and, 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 and being around these guys when they come down the locker room after the game. So, you know, is it going to be hard? Yeah, recruiting's hard. Recruiting's hard. But uh, at the end of the day, I think there's a, there's a lot, lot of good stuff going on here. Bill, uh, you mentioned before the season that Belton was a guy you'd like to see get 20 to 25 carries a game. Once, once he's fully recovered, is that still the plan, or is this strictly a committee approach now? Yeah, I think that's changed a little bit. You know, I think that... Uh, I, and I did at the, at the beginning, I said that, but you know, we've got some good guys back there and, and uh, they all, it's really a competitive in practice. So I would say it's more like, you know, if it's Billy's, Winnack, Zordich, uh, Dukes, uh, you know, Derek Day, whoever it is, maybe it's more like 12 to 15 carries per game, you know what I mean? And, and you know, we ran the ball 52 times in the Illinois game, so nobody's going to really carry it 52 times for us, nobody's going to carry it 30 times for us, it's more about that 10 to 15 carry range right, right now. Things change, you know, as the season goes on, so. Hey, Coach, kind of going off that, um, Belton, you know, transferred or made the switch to running back early in the season then had the injury. Were there any setbacks there, or did he kind of stay on the road he wanted as a running back? Yeah, no, he's, uh, you know, he worked hard. At, he, he hurt his ankle in the Ohio game, and uh, he's worked extremely hard to get back, and he's back. And he had 16 carries the other day for, I think, about 70 yards. Thought he made some good runs. Thought he made some runs that we that we need to improve on. Uh, he's, he's a guy that can really uh, have a big effect on the game. He's got great feet. He's got good speed. He can catch the ball in the backfield. So he'll you know, continue, and as long as he stays healthy, he'll always be a part of our game. You sit up top of Big Ten in terms of turnover margin. I know you don't want to jinx that or anything, but what has been the key in that? After the first game, obviously, there were a couple turnovers, but what have you been able to harp in on practice and, and going forward in games not turning the ball over. Well, I think it's better to probably ask these guys about that. I think we have, you know, we have to side with the players all the time, whether it's on offense, ball security. You know, that's a we we talk to our players all the time. When you carry the football on offense, you carry the hopes and dreams of the football team. So we we talk about it. We emphasize it with you know the throwing game, the running game, everything. And then on on defense, every single day they're working on takeaways and strip drills, interception drills, tip ball drill, whatever it is. So I think it's just a matter of emphasis and the, kid, the, the players have done an excellent job of going out there and doing it and hopefully we can continue that. So following up on uh, the other recruiting related question, how much of an impression do you think Mike, uh, Mounty and your other seniors, how much have they made on uh, not just the younger guys on your team, but future guys, future prospects might be here? Well again, you know, yeah, I think it, it, it you know, again, it's not just one, it's it's this whole group of guys, you know, how, how hard they play. I mean, I can tell you, I'm not going to mention names, but after the last couple of games, I've gotten a lot of phone calls from non-Penn State people telling me how much they enjoy watching this team play. Look, again, I don't know what's going to happen this year. I don't, I don't, I'm not a genie, but, but people enjoy watching this team play because of the effort with which they play. They play you know, like their hair's on fire every play. And so I think people really enjoy that. And, uh, and you know, that's because of the senior and ju the junior and senior class that's a bunch of great, great kids that love to play football, love to practice, love to go to school at Penn State and, and play extremely hard.